Welcome everyone to White Falcon Plays. I thought we'd check out this game called Plague Lords. This is still a demo version. Um, I thought it looked pretty cool though on the Steam page, so I thought we'd check it out and see what it's about. This game is developed and published by Red Unit Studios, as we can see there. It's a turn-based strategy game with base building and uh, scavenging and a few other things like that. So we'll check it out. So you can see that it's an alpha build. Um, so there's still a lot more stuff to be made, but we'll have a quick look and see what it's like. I like the menu screen, cool start. I like the art style and I love the, um, the look of the game as well. I have played a little bit of the game because the tutorial is, is, is decently bit uh, large, but I found it hard to understand. So, um, yeah, I've gone through that a little bit. So yeah, let's take a look. Yep, we'll delete our game. So you can choose a character, uh, male and female, choose a, a portrait. There we go, is a Bruno. And you can choose your um, kind of class, I guess. You can be a headhunter, a monk. Uh, also, you got a lot of wisdom and charisma. And this is useless at the moment, so still stuff being made. So we'll go with Sergeant. Sword and board. Okay. Everything. Everything moves in this game. <laughs> in we go. This is a demo being prepared for the release on February 21st, in time for the start of Team Steam Next Fest. If you were able to launch it early, then perhaps some gameplay and technical aspects are still finalized, being finalized. Some localization might be missing, or there might be a different language. Translation are still being edited. Thank you for your understanding, and we look forward to having you run this demo on Steam Next Fest. Okay, so let's start. Looks like an in. At least this one isn't full of plague corpses, and not on fire like the other two. Yet, there aren't too many guests. I might as well take the best room. Let's take a look. Okay, party movement and interactions. Use the right mouse button to move the party. It moves as fast as the slowest character. Who might be tired, wearing heavy armor. If the party is overloaded, a weight icon will appear on the shield. Okay, up here, we are overloaded. When the party occupies a building, an inspection button will appear on the bottom panel. So it's down here. Um, to the right of the next move button. A full inspection will take several turns, but building contains a variety of resources. Search the end. Alright, let's head up. So it's on the left for this one. There we go, so we, we are starting to explore it. I thought you had to click something here, but that's how it goes. So now we end turns while we search. Sometimes it can take multiple turns. That was just a single one. Seen anyone? Not a soul. They even left their food. Shame, it's all rotten. Stables are empty. I wasn't even hoping for horses. I don't like this. Let's grab a weapon. Okay, party inventory and gear. Gear is indicated by special icons. Choose a character and click the right mouse button on an item in the inventory to put it on. Or on the outfit to remove an item. A red outfit in icon indicates that it is close to breaking. You can repair or disassemble the item in an appropriate workshop or using a repair kit. Some items can be discarded by pressing the middle mouse button in the party's inventory. Okay. So now it wants us to equip a sword. So there's, there's also uh, a thing. These hammers are actually just for uh, as a tool to make stuff. Get some jerky. Okay, so we'll equip our weapon. Good. Yes, someone's here. Maybe the guests are back. Maybe, but I got an arrow knocked anyway. 
party, melee, and ranged attacks. For a melee attack, simply move the party towards the enemy. For ranged attack, press volley on the button left of the end turn button. Right of the end turn button. <laughs> um, and choose a target. Archers do not receive return damage if they perform a volley or are protected by other fighters. Each fighter inflicts damage to one random target during a skirmish. This reflects the chaos of a fight, where someone inflicts many blows and some else misses or is wounded. Captains can affect the targets and outcome of a skirmish. Okay, so we'll move down, see if we can find these evil men. Here they are. Okay, so we've got one archer and two warriors, so I don't know if it's better to just attack or use a volley and only she will attack. We've also got some stats, we've got um, health, we've got energy, and we've got mortality, morality, sorry, inactive in the demo, hunger, affects how quickly a character's health is restored and thirst. So we do have some water skins and stuff here, so it's good. Alright, so we'll do a, we'll do a volley. We can't really see them. Unfortunately, can't turn the uh, map around. Not from what I've seen. Can move the map around, but we've got some got some zombies in here. Let's do a bit of a volley. And in turn. Then they'll come and attack us. And we'll do a melee fight as well. Okay, she seemed to attack anyway. And they're attacking again. Couple more, maybe. What was that? Are any of them breathing? After those wounds, I doubt it. Look at their mugs. Plague stricken for sure. What do you say, butcher? Examine the corpses carefully. Interaction and collecting loot. If the party has actions available in a particular spot, this will be shown on the panel to the right of the end turn button. We'll say left. <laughs> I'm going to swap whatever they say on there. You can collect remaining loot where a fight took place or collect wild meat if you were hunting. Special quests need particular characters to complete them. This will be noted in your journal. Story quests usually involve three main characters, Gwen, Butcher and your character. Okay, so we've got a journal up here. So we've got a bit of training, so this would be a tutorial. Um, same things that's showing us along the way. Notes about the missing band, chronicles, like story so far. It's pretty cool. And we've got quests. So we've got these guys that are participants of this quest, and we've got to search the infected. We've got our roster. Okay, cool. So they've also got their special abilities. Um, which we can s can't see here, it looks like. But we can see if we um, pull this out. So it shows the strength, uh, affects damage, number of infantry slots a character has. Okay. Agility, affects the damage and range attacks and movement speed. Stamina, affects various actions and determines the energy level. Wisdom. Affects the result of various actions and the number of available skills. And charisma. Affects the leadership skill and the number of characters in a party. Okay. You can see I'm a sergeant. Information about what they can do. So there's still a lot, I think, that's being made. Um, but we'll head over across here and loot the corpses. It's the plague, for sure. But they stink as if they died a week ago. They fought like wild animals. I had to cut them to pieces. There must be an explanation for all this madness. It looks bad, but I suggest that we figure it out later. It'll be dark soon. Let's not linger here. We'll find a spot away from the road to put up our tents. Temporary camps and kits. The best way to recover outside of a settlement is to make a temporary camp. A smith or a cook will fix your armor or make dinner. You can eat and drink at any time, but camp cooking will have cooking will save supplies. Kits are marked with a cog 
and their party's inventory. They help to quickly set up a camp and place stakes or traps. However, kits needed to be made ahead of time in a workshop. So we've got two up here that we can um, create a camp with. Okay, so we'll just step off the road a bit. Maybe down here. And make a camp. Begin to pitch camp with the party members. This may take some time, but people much prefer to sleep in a tent than out in the open. Okay. One, three. I'm not sure what this means. Maybe if you've got hammers, it takes one turn. If you don't have hammers, it takes three. So let's... So we can um, change their equipment. And we can put a hammer on. Unfortunately, it doesn't want to give a hammer if you've got armor on. So you have to take your armor off before you can swap it into a hammer. Okay, so now this should be a bit quicker. Just make sure it's still going. See them see them hammering away. One turn, two turns, maybe one. Okay. Not bad. Be careful with the tents. We'll have to look for a cloth for more cloth and logs again. But maybe not. The Flemish camp should be nearby. I hope so. That plague in is starting to look really attractive. Fine, bed down. I'll take the first watch. Then Gwen, butcher, you're cooking. Food and rest stats recovery. Your people need food and drink, which helps them preserve strength, stamina, and stamina. Try to stock up on everything you'll need before a long raid. Otherwise, the party won't get far, weighed down with loot. Your character stats will slowly recover in the settlement but only if there is enough food and water. If the settlement runs out of water, the character's energy won't be restored. Okay, let's set up a camp and make some food. All right, we'll take a rest. Looks like you can do other things, prepare food. I'm not sure how we can do that. Maybe it's not in the game yet. Okay, four turns. Go through the night. Oh. Stop where you are. Are you the plague stricken? You have spots. I don't have them neither. Saints, I nearly shot the fool. He doesn't look like yesterday's corpse, local. Are you local? Nah, just passing through. I wanted some food for my trip, but then I guess yesterday I saw how you dealt with those. They attacked us. We defended ourselves. You don't have to tell me. I've seen much worse lately. Your fellows weren't as lucky. Fellows? Soldiers. Mercenaries. They didn't look like local fighters. So I took note. Well, looks like you're coming with us. Combining parties. To split the party, use the split button on the party panel. This one here. It appears only when you're free on free land. To combine, simply move right mouse button towards the party you want to join. In this mode, you can, can move not only characters from party to party, but also items. Quickly switch between parties using the tab button. Okay, so we can press tab to switch between our two parties here. He's got an axe and some cloth. Maybe he's got two axes. Okay, so to merge these parties, we um, pick one. I don't know if it's going to work because he's in the trees. No. Okay. Let's cancel that. So it's, a bit of, it's a bit buggy. <laughs> if anyone's on anything else, it doesn't seem to work. So we will move him across here. But I cannot see him. Here we go. He's in. Can we get the other guy in too? Nope. Only one at a time. Oh, come on. What's going on? Alright, he can be by himself for now. He's got a, oh, that's, my, that's the main character. Okay. Alright. Uh, not to leave the local on the road after yesterday's skirmish. Especially you might be doing... Okay, so we need all of us to complete this quest. But we can't get our friend to join us. Here we go, we're in. Okay, <laughs> there we go, we got, we got it to go, work. It was quite a fight. 
but only two or three of you died. They fought well. There should be two dozen. Maybe they split from the band. Maybe. You'll see. I showed your healer where to look. The butcher is the healer. It's all written down in the journal. It's very close. Let's go. We'll take a look and perhaps find why they split up and where they went. Story and random quests. Story quests don't just progress the story, they gradually let reveal various mechanics and influences the difficulty. It's best to prepare for any important mission, but you won't receive important survival tools without it. To complete a quest, you'll need to have the required character in one party. All directions are linked to landmarks you're familiar with. If you are recorded in the journal, if you get lost, check the relevant entry. So I think it uses stuff that we, we've seen in the in the world to tell us where to go which is pretty cool so it's saying we need to go to the west of the inn to find the remains okay so it's everyone no let's get you equipped just in case bow on you let's get the sword on you this is our friendly friend here we got plus 10 plus 10 same same and sword all right we are good to go let's go west over the bridge okay there's a well No, we can't use it. Maybe it fills up our water cans. Maybe we should check if everyone needs anything. You're a little bit hungry, mate. And we get you drunk to drink up. Okay, that's empty now. So we'll see if... It doesn't seem to fill it up. So that might not be working just yet. Uh, we've got a farm here, which is pretty cool. But I can't see... Corpse. To the west of the inn. Empty farm. How far west? I feel like it shouldn't be too far west. We're in the middle of a mass forest. Here we go, we found it, went too far. Okay, let's investigate the battle. Conrad's people? What's left of them? Just two. They're too stocky for scouts. They must have been foragers. The armor's torn away with the flesh, but they keep fighting. They're covered in scratches. One of them had a note from the captain. I'll copy it to my journal. When we find the others, we'll find Conrad. Hey, you can ask around in town, further along the road, if you dare venture in there. Settlement journey journals and rosters. All entries about the plot, quests, parties and such are collected in the butcher's journal. Just like training notes. Everything else is revealed as the plot unfolds or when random quests are completed. The storeroom stat status will show you which items are kept there. Production and construction resources are initially taken from the party's inventory, while the remainder is collected from the storeroom. Okay. Talk to the townsfolk. Which way? Uh, southwest of the inn is a small town. Usually Gwyn has... Usually Gwyn has only to visit a couple of residents to find some agreeable owners. Okay. Southwest. So I don't think this is it. Southwest. Okay. Well, it looks like down this path. So we'll go down there. Oh, 
on the road again. Oh, let's see what's in here. One of our friends is a bit low on energy. He needs to sleep. Okay. We found a piece of wood. So when they've got low energy, they don't move as well quick. It's just uh, causing us to only move one square a turn instead of two. So we could remove him and take him back to camp, but we'll continue on. Okay, here's a building. But So you can search buildings, but we will continue to try and find the correct one we need, which is probably a tavern. Um, or it could be a house. Let's try this one. Nope. Oh, what's this? Oh, here we go. Someone has already really gone wild here. The furniture is tipped over and items are scattered across the floor. Robbers wouldn't have left so many goods, so the house was turned upside down during a fight. So we can, we've got kind of different options that we can do. I think we use the wisdom one, we get actually extra rewards. So we get some food and some coins. That pile of furniture in the corner sure looks like a barricade. If anyone was here, it would be the best place to hide. As soon as we started dismantling the barricade, a barely audible moan sounded in response. This made us hurry up and we soon pulled an exhausted woman from the small cellar. Someone grabbed her small bag of possessions. Okay, problem solved. Let's move on. Help! There's someone there. Must have been hiding for a long time to give her some water. Give her some water. At least we found someone. It's dead quiet outside. She needs food and rest. Time to set up camp. I'll need an infirmary. We'll send someone to find a few sturdy logs. Help her walk. She's still too weak. Shelter, construction and defense. To build something bigger than a couple of temporary tents from a kit, your character can finally remove their heavy armor, pick up a tool, and pick up a tool. Building barehanded will take a week, but a couple of hammers will speed up the process immensely. You can build any number of buildings except headquarters, but the camp's area is limited. Each building needs to be accessible, and paths also take up space in the camp. Okay, so now we need to make a camp. So we could go back to our other camp all the way up here, but we can make another one. We have another set here. Okay, we'll just move a little bit further away from the town. Looking good, looking good. We'll set up a camp. Okay, let's get some hammers in our inventory again. And we'll start building. So now we can upgrade the camp to a main tent, but we need one wood. So we've got an axe on our friendly guy here. So we need to try and split the party. We could try and split the party, and one of them could uh, search the house here. Let's try that. Um, Okay, so we will, we need her weapon though, so we'll make sure she's got that on her. And you can go help search the uh, house as well. Uh, we'll keep these ones like that, so that should be good. Oh, they swapped the wrong way around, did they? Oh no. Okay, we will take away her item there, put on that. Take away his item and put on that. Just in case they get into a fight. She needs a bit of food. She seems a bit in trouble here, so we'll give her some water. Hmm. I thought I had two canteens, but. Empty water skin. You are going to be a little bit thirsty, my dear. Okay. Um, 
Um, what about axe? Okay, two axes, good. So now we'll get these guys to chop wood. And then we can get these guys to do some searching. Okay, and we've got to watch out for any enemies coming in our facility. Oh, we've got a level two piece of armor. 18 defense, durability, discomfort, agility minus one maybe. Um, guard, squire, and crossbowman can wear it. Oh, he's already got level two. Can she wear it? She hasn't got enough skill. Okay. Okay, we'll keep. We got wood. Yeah, we got wood coming up. How many pieces do we have? Two pieces so far. We'll get a couple more. We've got some gold coins. Okay, three logs. We need four for this quest here. Ask for a few pieces of logs. We've got some more bread. That's good. Another set of armor. That's good. And we got our four logs. Just wondering if we need more than that, but I think that should be okay. All right. They can keep searching. I'm not sure if you can just keep searching forever or if something... They might implement something to tell you when it's fully searched, because I'm not really sure how that works yet. Okay, let's make this main tent. They keep finding stuff. So actually we could put um, hammers back on these guys, but all the other guys have them. We'll bring them back out. So now I can't actually join these two together, which is a bit unfortunate at the moment just kind of oh well, maybe we can okay stand corrected okay and then we will well like guys are getting very hungry so I'm guessing later on you could make a big farm and and every and a whole whole township and um that would produce food and water for yourself. Okay, so let's quickly... We'll just keep going until this is built. There we go. It's not the Vatican, but it'll serve for a week or two. That's a week or two longer than I'm prepared to stay here. Now the infirmary and search for some richer houses. I'll need clean sheets and dresses. Okay, so we could search some rich houses for some cloth you can also it seems like learn different skills so they can um, learn wood chopping and building so that might improve how quickly they can build and chop wood and um, yeah then you can build like big bases you can build fortifications barricades stakes you can hold back the infected mad hordes um, and then for the buildings type of stuff, you can build you can build hospitals, storage tent, woodcutter's tent, simple device and a small lean-to. allows a master to process trees and craft very simple items. Smelter tent, repair items, make items. You can build a big force and protect your sides. Becomes like a zombie swarms coming at you. Um, so yeah, so we can build a, a hospital here. Should be equipping the the um, hammers. How is she, butcher? <laughs> Keeps muttering about some about witches and gallows. That's normal for such a fever. Need help with her with your herbs? I'll manage. Just look after the camp. You needed. You're needed here, Gwen. No, so you're needed here, butcher. Gwen will take care of the newcomer. Let's not waste any time. So, I'm kind of stuck on this quest. Um, the potion used up the last remaining herds, but we can pick more her here. Somebody should do this while the others set up camp. So, I'm not sure where these herbs are supposed to be. I had a look around and stuff, but not sure. Um, but yeah, it looks like you can treat, treat people that need 
healing. Um, and then I guess the storage tent, you could put all these things away and then you wouldn't be as encumbered and then go out exploring. But yeah, kind of a cool look. I love the, the look of it and um, and what they've got going. It seems like it, it could be a really, really fun game in the future. There's just um, a couple of things not working, which they said already at the start. So hopefully they'll fix a few of them um, and it will end up being a really cool game. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope this has given you a glimpse into this game. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to see more videos like this. Thanks so much. Until next time, White Falcon out.